Hey guys, the National Publicity Secretary of the organization Dibo, Dr. Ales Obunaya, has alleged that as an elder from the Southeast, he has no powers to apprehend Simon Ekba, who is in Finland. Hello guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. My people, you know, I know say this Simon Ekba issue in the Southeast region, you know, you see they blow fire. Majority of South Easterners, mostly their headers, are asking the federal government of Nigeria to repatriate Simon Ekba back to Nigeria to face trial. Okay. A few days ago, the former DSS director, Mike Ojafo, called on President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, led Nigerian Fed, uh, federal government of Nigeria to, as a matter of urgency, you know, uh, alliance with the Finland government, okay, for them to extradite uh, Simon Ekba back to Nigeria. Okay, let's hear what is actually going on here. The National Publicity Secretary of the Organizing Dibo, Dr. Alex Obonaya, has alleged that as an elder from the Southeast, he has no powers to apprehend Simon Ekba, who is in Finland. He questioned the expectations placed on Southeast headers regarding national security issues. He emphasized that while he is an elder, he is not a chief security officer and cannot single-handedly address threat to the government. He ascertained that if he was the president of, the Niger of Nigeria, he would promptly neutralize elements like Simon Ekba, who stand as a threat to, this, to the country. He said in an interview with Punch, what do you want the elders to do? I am an elder, but I am not chief security officer. So what do you want me as an elder to do? If the government feels that someone is threatening them, they should do something. Does the government want me to go to Finland as an elder to go and bring Simon Ekba, he asked. That is the most important reasoning because what do you think that I, as an elder, should do? It is just unfortunate that things are not working. If I were the president of Nigeria, for example, and, and he, Ekpa, is threatening my country, within 24 hours, he is he's gone, he said. Nigerians who have reacted, this, reacted to this have this to say. This man, it shall never be well with you and your useless generations. Oh, this is this is harsh. Show. Why complaining? You should have sent your useless first. Oh, please, I can't take this. The insult is too much. But can we can we react without insulting people? You can as well make your your point politely without insulting people. Someone said Simon Ekba has become a party placed on Igbo head so who knows more of how the Igbos have suffered since the creation of the country called Nigeria. Igbo headers should know that Indigbo have sacrificed a lot and should not be asked to sacrifice anything more, but should rather look for freedom. Your children are not meant for sacrifice for Nigeria to achieve peace. Yes, so send your son to go after him if you have no sense. Hey God, this is this is harsh. I think the the man needs to be visited. His cup of betraying is almost filled up. Nigerian government just wants to kill Igbos, but God won't allow that. Is it Simon Ekba that will be used to fix our bastardized economy, or is it he the one responsible for the hike of premium motor spirits, aka Fue, that has destroyed our economy 
misplaced priority. Go to your house and bring out your okpara. That is the only good you can do to yourself. Why some of Igbo people, you know, the elders, they like money. They they are not even looking how to realize or release them the canoe. It's too bad for you people. Know that you will leave this morning one day. Useless elders, all of you will never know peace. Instead of you telling the federal government of Nigeria, who happened to be the one that created insecurity in the Igbo land to release the name Kano, you have, you are here calling Simon Ekba. Okay, guys, you know, the reactions are too harsh. Let me know, you know, take them again. Let us analyze this. You know, so then they talk, say, now something now they bring something right. I think it's high time. It's high time now. The government, the, the South East headers should put their heads together and see how Mazinam the Kano will be, you know, released. If they feel that Simon Ekba is a threat to them in the Southeast, let Nam the Kano be released and see whether this man will keep on, you know, with whatever he's doing right now in the Southeast. Mazinam the Kano should be what they should be talking about right now. How the Nigerian government will release him from the DSX detention, from peace to reign in the southeast. True, true, be say, Nam the Kano, you know, is the key to, you know, security in the southeast Nigeria. So, guys, let's hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly drop your, you know, Comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I beg, share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you for always stopping by. Bye for now.